especially in this day and age, it's difficult to touch anything that hasn't been touched by an artist. The easy answer is I identify myself as an artist who just really likes engineering. been a lot of fun since I'm a big kid. It fits me exactly perfectly. So being able to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Cambridge Science Festival was a real honor and a privilege. You have all kinds of outlandish ideas being thrown out that somehow end up actually going into the project. Of course, many more don't make it in. hard times working with groups but when I did this it was actually I felt as if I can do this with a group and I felt confident that I could do this. Yeah there's definitely an interest the, uh, the seed gets planted here every day and uh, you can see the students get excited about science and technology. It's not so much about the result. This experience was really about the process. But I think some of these friendships are going to, to last for quite a while. We got mad at each other a lot, I think. But yes. um, I think after, you know, getting frustrated with each other, something not working, something getting messed up, or somebody walking into a piece and the entire machine falling apart. <laughs> but I mean, we really, you know, I like you guys. It was fun. Aww. Aww. It was good. <laughs> yeah! Launching that rocket for me, it was pretty hard, but I did it. I know sometimes I got really frustrated, and I know if I would give up then, then all of it would be over, so don't give up. Honestly, the experience I would describe as a complete roller coaster. It started off really exciting, the girls were pumped, I was as well. Obviously we had some rough patches going through um, the design process, some things weren't working, some things were adding up, but in the end, it worked out and it's perfect. My girls, oh, they blew my mind of how much science they knew by the end of this project. This has been a great lesson for our girls. It really got them thinking about simple machines and how things work. Today we saw the application of their creativity, their problem-solving skills. It's a real valuable lesson. Showing them the actual engineering concepts and trying to point them in different directions to look at things in a unique way. I've got a better understanding on how to work with the team efficiently and how to, you know, someone to take a leadership role and assign different tasks to people so that we can achieve our, the goals that we want to meet and get to our deadlines. Coming up with ideas is fun, but seeing them come to life and actually work is this, it's an amazing process. Astonished, really.
just seeing it fail so many times, it just kind of drove us to, you know, try and make it work all the way through. I like to tinker around with things. Development of mechanical and robotic systems. A chain reaction is an opportunity for the community to come together and create a piece of theater. I believe it's just infectiously satisfying to witness. It brings together invention, problem solving, theater, humor. That is a very joyful process. The Chain Reaction is a perfect science festival activity because it involves all of the principles of engineering and science and physics and art and music and dance that brings everything together.